I go, God bless. He goes, Hail Mary. Like, huh? Hail Mary? What does Hail Mary even mean? You're for loving, buddy. What do I do? Yeah. I used to play professional soccer. Kind of still do. But last year, in my meantime, I started streaming. Really, this is now like my job, creating content and stuff like that. YouTube videos, TikTok, streaming four hours a day, stuff like that. What about That's you? Luck in you? I'm a emergency technician. I'm licensed in state. Yeah, my wife's a veterinarian. We ah. actually work together. Yep. Oh, let's yep. go. That's awesome. I do have a quick question for you. So just be, be ready ahead, for buddy. it. All right, I'll, yeah. I'll do it at the beginning of the next game. You can ask me right now, dude. It's fine, bro. I just muted the game. All right, so my question is, so I'm a streamer, and one of the things I do is as I go in uh, and play, I ask people what their sure. thoughts are on God, and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Just hear your thoughts, bro, as we play. On God? Yeah. I'm Roman Catholic, bro, but I mean, it probably answers enough of your questions. Not, Not really, it's... but it doesn't really seem like he wants to talk about it, but we'll still love him anyway. You know what I mean? I don't know how they necessarily continue this conversation but so you said oh, you're a catholic yeah i'm roman catholic okay yeah. you're like raised in that and all that no i did converted man oh converted okay yeah i went through rcia and everything yeah what made you decide to like convert to roman catholicism marriage my, <laughs> my sister actually i would say my sister very similar she got married to a, a guy who was catholic now she's catholic yeah i got renamed got baptized not super devout though with with COVID and everything that happened, you know, church and all that, dude. Fell off a little bit, but it's all right. That's why Jesus died on the cross for us. Is that uh, what your name means, dude? Cross the crown, buddy? Exactly, yeah. So. Yeah. What does the five ola mean? Uh, so, five, so it's actually sola, but if there's five solas. Um, and it's basically like, uh, basically a really simple way of describing like the Christian life. Um, and it's by grace alone, through faith alone, um, in Christ alone, all to the glory of God alone, uh, all according to scripture yeah, alone. Okay. During during this 30 second, uh, what would get you to, I don't wanna say take your faith or anything more seriously, but kind of like really dive into that? I don't know, man. Not that I don't take it seriously. I probably should get more reconnected with church back to mass dude and it'll all come back at some point i guess my little encouragement to you is be confident that like your value and your relationship with god doesn't kind of come with like what you do right but rather where your heart is oh yeah dude yeah trust me man my heart's in a pretty good spot so so my last question uh someone in my stream is actually asking me this question for you how do we get to heaven oh man so the answer to the question is by just trusting jesus as your savior as your lord and savior and that he's done all the work for you on the uh through his work on the cross and that we believe that he resurrected the dead three days later oh dude if you're talking about us getting to heaven yeah by technicality by him clearing mortal sin then yeah dude for sure man oh. i mean i know that he cleared mortal sin gave his life for humanity dude oh. since we were sinned you know forever because of oh man what the oh. heck hold on hold on give me hold on wait a second ah uh, we, we we got our sin mortal sin happened in the and desert the when he went to the well I, I remember the stories, dude. It's 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 been a long time, so I'm yeah. I mean, too. I know the technicality of, of of why we go to heaven, but uh, uh, I have slight skewed beliefs as a Roman Catholic on yes, certain based it, on it, based on my upbringing, original background of being very so. spiritual and okay. having a different outlook on the way things work. I I I believe has the chance of getting into heaven. Regardless if they believe in the true savior or not, it just depends on if they have the intuition of God within their heart. So do you say uh, that you the Bible the isn't right, like right. probably a hundred percent authority? To a degree, yes. Mainly because the Bible is very metaphorically opinionized, I suppose you could say. There's um multiple versions of the Bible and uh, you know, multiple different denominations of Christianity and Catholicism. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and you know, in reality, they're metaphorically opinionated on. And um, I think that there is overall set of foundational um, standards that, the, that each, each version set that are all the same. But I think there's a deeper layer that is perceived by the individual person. So real quick on the Bible, even though I think there's a lot of different translations and a lot of different parts, uh, different ways to interpret scripture. I do think there's like a one set right way, right? And like I, th I do think there's specific things that need to be interpreted specifically. I mean, I believe in, you know, the Ten Commandments and I believe in the definitions of mortal sins and a lot of those things. But uh, 
I do believe that there are some stories that are open to certain interpretations within a bound of reality, though. Like, there's definitely things that are said that are supposed to be taken literally, and then there's things that are supposed to take and be more metaphorical, for sure. I don't know. This is my like, like my one thought on the Bible, is if we do have an all-powerful creator God of the entire universe, and then if he wanted to keep the Bible intact and, like, keep it pure, and, and even though people wrote it and stuff, um then he'd have that power. You know what I mean? What, what version of the Bible? Are, wait, hold on, are you, are you Roman Catholic? I'm not, no. What are you? Uh, I am non-denominational Protestant. You're non-denominational Protestant, uh, right? Yeah. Which, uh, which version of the Bible do you read? Uh, I use the English Standard Version, or I use the um, NIV when I'm not understanding, or I'll use the um, Christian Standard Bible. Most of the time I do my studies in the English Standard Version, though. God, I. I don't, there's nothing I'm gonna be able to say or do to change this guy's mind on some things. Lord, I pray that you just put people in his life that are able to teach him truth. Lord, that he would have confidence that well, right. Jesus is the way, yeah, the truth, quick. and the life, that nobody can come to the Father except through him, and that we have to trust in him as our Lord and Savior, Lord. I pray that he Bob, hears yeah, the truth man. of your word and understands what it what it actually means for yeah. us in our lives. Hey, yeah, Lord, this is, this is one of those conversations where Definitely I really just know right that there's not gonna be a lot that I'm gonna be able Dude, to say what, to be able to change his right mind or game? lead him to love you more and enjoy you more. Lord, that's just gonna be the work of you, and I pray that you do it. In Jesus' name, I pray, man. All right, man. Hey, GGs, dude. Hey, GGs, yeah, bro. Man, it's it good playing with you and talking to you. Yeah, it was a pleasure, Cross, man. Keep it up, dude. You're doing great. Good luck in your endeavors, man. Appreciate it, dude. God bless, man. Hey, Hail Mary. Peace out, brother. I go, God bless. He goes, Hail Mary. Like, huh? Hail Mary? What does Hail Mary even mean? The Hail Mary prayers. I'm not saying this. I'm I'm reciting it so nobody get mad at me. Okay, I'm reciting it. Okay, so it says Hail Mary full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now in the hour of our death. Yeah, and this is the thing not up to me, right? As much as I'd love it all be up to me. It's not. And that's an amazing thing, is that we have freedom when we go and talk to people about Jesus. Difficult, but we have freedom.